Hi, this is Jimmy. I just wanted to come on and tell you that I am going to do a week of watercolor pages um, to prepare our pages for the next week. Kind of like a paint with me, a daily paint with me. And I thought it'd be fun to use some spring themed and March themed um, illustrations. And again, I am by no means professional. These are all amateur. And I just sometimes look up sketches on Google and use that as a model. So nothing fancy. If I can do it, you can do it. And I will see you with my paint. Okay, so for the first picture, I'm going to use yellow. I'm going to do a yellow background wash. And this is old paint that I have left for my liquid watercolors. And you just, oops, sorry, take a little bit of water, drop it on, and it activates it. You know, so it never goes to waste. And this is a number 16 brush, but you could use any size. Um, a bigger brush is obviously better for a wash. And the wash, what that means is just the background um, before you paint the picture. So we're gonna come over here. And I put this paper behind it to so the paint or water doesn't get on the pages below it. So it's just a protection. I'm gonna keep adding a little bit of water. And it wrinkles up the page a little bit, but I like that. I love the wrinkliness and crinkliness of the pages when I turn them. So it's just a very, very light yellow. A wash is a very light color for the background. This makes a big difference in the picture instead of just a plain white background. You know, and it comes out different shades, which is really nice. That's nature, you know, different shades. The sky is never just one shade of blue. It's all different shades. What's the matter, Miss Molly? One of my kitties is restless. One of my cats is like a dog. When somebody comes to the door, she runs to the door. If the doorbell rings, she'll run to the door and look out. Um, if I call her, she comes. She sits on my lap all day. Well, wherever I am, she finds me. Okay, so there's the wash. The yellow wash. And... So what I do after that is I just blow dry it using a regular blow dryer. There are craft things that, that you can buy um, to dry them with, but I have this and it works. So. I looked up some little sketches for spring and I like this little leprechaun hat and clovers. So I'm going to just draw one in each corner and that'll be my design um, all right so I'll start with the leprechaun hat it's just very basic drawing you know and it doesn't have to be perfect it's just to be fun you know so you just do it how you do it and however it comes out is fine Does that look like a top hat? Not really. Just change the shape. I did better when I do it really fast. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we'll do a line here. And I want to do this light because we're going to paint it. And then, oh, my son is so loud on his computer. Okay, there's the little hat. Actually, I like it in the picture where it goes in right there. So I'm going to make it do that a little bit. Oh yes, that's much better. Okay. And then little dots, but we'll do the, well, I guess I can do little dots now, just very lightly. Can you tell that's a hat? Oh well. 
Okay, then over here we can put a uh, clover. So I just did a loose, what I think a clover looks like. Kind of like a heart. See, coming together. I'm gonna take, you know, this tray that I had, and I had yellow here. So I'm going to add the green to that and it'll make it brighter, you know, with the yellow. I'm going to use Dr. P.H. Martin's. This is Thalo green, some kind of green. Okay, so I'm going to put that on here. Can you see it? Yeah. All we need is one drop. This stuff lasts for years, decades. Okay, so put a little dot. We'll take our number one Winsor & Newton brush, my favorite. Actually, this one has a longer, longer bristles. Oh, that's a nice green. Get some more yellow in it. It's kind of bluey green. Um, I'm gonna add a little yellow to make it not quite as blue. So, this is the yellow. Okay, let's see what that does. Oh, that's a much nicer green, I can tell already. Add a little water. See how that's not as blue now? That's nice, that's like an emerald green. black for the band and I have some leftover black I'm just gonna use some of this activate it that's actually black ink I shouldn't have let that dry there but oh well it's this one Just use the same green. Okay, I'm back with my pens. I think I'm gonna use this purple one. 
I don't know, I just think it looked pretty with the with the green. So I made sure it's completely dry because this will actually run a little bit if it gets wet. Oh, that's cute. It's a little leprechaun hat. All right, I think I'm going to outline this one too. It just makes it pop. Maybe I'll put a little vein in the middle of the leaf like they have. This will be Monday, March 8th. So I'm just gonna draw. It's gonna be simple lettering that I've done before. A little line and then a line under it for the date, the day and the date. I will use green, green micron pen. All right, just this simple lettering. I'll go back and add the depth to it. All right, so we'll go back and do that to it. Stripes, I like stripes. Okay, Monday. I think I will use black. No, at least use purple because that's what we used for here. You can't really tell that that's purple though, but it is. March 8. Oh, yeah, I like that. I just thought I would add a little extra on this page. I just feel like I want something around the edge to tie it all in. So, hmm. I could do squiggly lines, I could do dots, but we have dots on there. I think I'll just do a squiggly line. Again, the fact that we're doing these in a planner is so freeing. You can play with your art and not have to have the pressure of doing a perfect job. You just kind of experiment see what happens you know you're gonna write over it anyway so there's just no pressure it's just fun to play we're not doing it for anybody but ourselves you know and other planner people who are crazy like us um, yeah, but it takes away a lot of the pressure, so you can just play and experiment and have fun. And the reason I say this is because I didn't know how this would turn out. And it looks okay. I made a little, you know, it's not perfect. But I do like it better with the line. It kind of just brings it all together. So thank you for watching. Bye.